In this video, I will be showing you how to import silhouettes, DXF and DWG files, and centerline images. First, the Import Silhouette feature allows you to change the image to many line segments to make a silhouette based on contrast of the image and its background. I'm going to click the Browse button and use the Stingray as an example. The general settings in the panel to the right allows you to scale the image to the size you want it along with position it amongst the page. Next you can edit the image in the Trace Silhouette tab. I'm just going to show you a few parameters. The Segmentation Quality tool breaks curves into line segments, so I'm going to change it from 10 to 0.1 and wait for the progress bar to fully load before making any more adjustments. Now you can see the difference in the quality of the photo, so I'm going to change it back to 10. And once again, wait for the progress bar to load before editing other parameters. Now I'm going to demonstrate the despeckling tool, which decreases the number of details, such as small dots in the image. So as I change it from 5 to 10, you can see that one of the eyes disappears. So I'm going to change it back to 5, but you can also play around with different features such as corner threshold, which rounds out the corners of the image, and smoothing factor, and more. Then I'm going to hit the green check. Now I'll highlight the image and click the ungroup button so I can edit individual line segments. For example, I'm going to replace the eyes. So I'm going to use the ellipse tool and draw an eye the size that I want it. Then I'll hit the green check and hold down the Alt key. So when I click on the old eye, it'll select all the connecting line segments and I can delete that. Then I'll use the copy tool, so I'm going to highlight the eye and then right click and click the center of it to move it over to where I want the duplicated image to be. Then I'll hit the green check and use the same method as before to delete the old eye. So here's the final image. Now I'll open a new document to show how to import a DXF or DWG file. This can be used to import a two-dimensional file into the drawing box where it can then be edited using the provided features under the Parameters tab. So I'll select Browse and then find the file that I want and click Open. You can now change the scale and positioning of the drawing. You can also edit the imported layers, which allows you to select which layer from the drawing you want to appear in the drawboard. Then hit the green check when you're finished, and I'm going to open a new document to show you how to import a centerline image. This tool detects the thickness of the entities within the image and then creates a toolpath down the center of each feature. So like I did for the others, I'm going to click Browse to find the image I want to use. I'm going to use the airplane as the example, so I'll click it and select Open. Once again, you can edit the parameters, so I'm going to scale the image to the size I want it. Then I'm going to change the segmentation quality from 50 to 20 and wait for the progress bar to load before making any more adjustments. As you can see, the object now has a lot more line segments, making it look less clean. So I'm going to change it from 20 to 80 to smooth the whole drawing out. So this is the final image. And since I'm happy with it, I'm going to go ahead and click the green check. And then ungroup the drawing the same as I did for the silhouette example. Since there is still open geometry within the image, I'm going to have to go back and delete some lines. So I'll skip ahead and show you the final product. And that is how you import silhouettes, DXF and DWG files, and centerline images.